This video is sponsored by the hundreds of you who have booked your Airbnb experience using our link in the description. Whether you're planning a staycation or a week abroad, Airbnb is the perfect way to feel at home no matter where you are. Save money on your first Airbnb booking. Click the link below and you help support the way away. Good morning, Way fam from Helsinki, Finland. I'm Josh. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to the Way Away. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe and give us a like. We are really excited about today. We are now stood in front of the Kampi in Helsinki. The Kampi is uh, the bus station as well as a mall. Shopping center, the yeah. Finns really do shopping really well. If you're in Helsinki, great place to shop. Yeah. Now, welcome to our Nordic Summer Series. This is the third, fourth video, I think, already mm -hmm. of the series, and we are almost out of Helsinki. In fact, today we are going to go on a day trip, perhaps the best day trip that you can possibly have just outside of Helsinki. It's a 10 euro bus ride yeah. to a place called Porvo, and we're gonna go check it out. Isn't it funny? We came to that. Portville. It was only like, what, an hour yeah. outside of the city? Not very far at all, and we used Anibus. So if you wanna take a bus in Finland, you can just go online to Anibus and purchase the tickets. That's exactly what I did, and the guy just saw our name on there, and it was super easy. And Probably simple. the cheapest way you can get a ticket around Finland. Yeah, it was less, like maybe six euro for both of us for one way. And then we're gonna go back. So this is our spot <laughs> to meet him later on in the day. Now, Porvo is known as a famous medieval town here, and we will get to check out the old town section, but immediately off the bus, there's like a fair going on. So let's just, know, let's just check it out. We got time. Loving seeing all the little markets everywhere. Ashley is finding jewelries to try and convince me to buy. Oh, I haven't looked yet. No? Okay. She's doing good, guys. She's holding strong. Ashley was just remarking how much the Finns seem to love ice cream. I mean, it's a beautiful day here and people are just enjoying ice cream and getting snacks sitting down by the river. We're almost to the old town, I promise, but we're just enjoying ourselves. Yeah, taking our time, yeah. relaxing. I think we're doing it right. Yeah, actually, being in big cities and now a tiny town, it feels really nice. You always like the little antique stores where you can look at all the antiques. Especially when it's in some different country and you can just mm -hmm. see old things from yeah. that country and culture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby croissant. They still make this style of glasses today, but Itala is a really famous brand here in Finland. And I definitely want to get some of these glasses someday in my home. In fact, this right here is the exact model of tumbler that I want. 20 euro. That's actually a steal, believe it or not. Gently, gently. <gasps> 115 euro for this vase, and that's actually a steal. This type of vase is very specific to here in Finland. Whenever you have a wedding or I think a birthday, like any really special uh, type of celebration, you get vases like this from people who love you. Like it's a really special gift. If you get it from someone, you have to really, really cherish it for a long time. You just put flowers in it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. One day I will have one of these. I don't know if it's true, but I heard that you never buy them for yourself. You're only given them. Mm, I think that's true. But 115 euro and a steel one in an antique shop. Yeah, that's, that's a very generous gift <laughs> in my opinion. This is so cool. I would put like little candies in it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and flowers. I love sure, flowers. Sure, flowers. <laughs>
it throws me off in Finland when we go into shops because the way that they say hello is hey hey and like in America you know like hey is something that you would say to a good friend yeah, not just somebody in. that's walking oh, into hey. a store yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then every time I'm like oh hey hey, hey. <laughs> but also Josh says, Josh remembers moi which is another way of saying hi I don't know what the difference between hey hey and moi is yeah, I'm but not I sure. think that they're just both greetings so yeah they're kind of easy to remember moi and hey hey We have finally made it to the medieval center of Porvo. It is this, the Porvo Cathedral. Now, we did mention that this is a popular tourist destination, so why? A little bit of a history lesson. You know, many, many years ago, this area was owned by the Swedes, essentially. Um, so, Porvo is a Finnish version of the word Borgo, something like that. I don't speak Finnish, obviously, or Swedish. Um, but it means Berg O. Berg River, Castle River. So this town is named after a castle on the river Porvoz. There's a longer name for the actual river itself. Uh, and then the Finnish word is sort of a changing of that. And so the town is now named Porvo. And this cathedral is a 15th century cathedral. And that's one of the reasons that makes this place so popular is it's one of six medieval towns in all of Finland. So this is a medieval cathedral as well as all the buildings that we've seen around are done in an 18th and 19th century style in a wooden structure. And there was even a disaster that happened here. I can't remember if it was by a fire or war, but two thirds of the entire of the buildings in the old town were destroyed. And instead of rebuilding and redoing everything in a modern style, they've kept the old style. So while some of the buildings are recreations, it's all very authentic in nature. Even though it's a very old church, I would say, yeah, it's used today. So definitely come here and check it out. They asked that we don't film inside. That's why we don't have any footage of it. But I will say that there's a painting of a unicorn on the very inside. That's true. So you'll have to come to come, see the unicorn. Yeah, let us know down below if you've seen the unicorn inside this church. And one of the cool things about the style is, as opposed to like frescoes and things in like Italian churches, it yeah. seems like it's all drawn in like charcoal and like yeah, exactly. hand illustrated. It's really interesting. It's a style not like I've never really seen. ornate in no. like features but like it has really cool like paintings artwork on the inside yes yeah, super and interesting the best thing about old churches that I like are the organs and I always just wish that I was in there when somebody was playing the organ because it would be so beautiful in 2006 the roof of the church here just caught fire some drunken kid accidentally set fire because they were retarring it and uh, it's actually still largely intact on the interior but they had to redo the roof itself and what I find really interesting is that there's a really, really strong scent of tar in the air. So I don't know if the roof is still just fresh or they're like retarring at the moment, but that's so interesting to be walking around. And in addition to like a charcoal smell and some sort of incense, possibly from the church, there's a really strong tar scent in the air. It's almost sickening because it's kind of like this sweet, smoky smell and it's, it's throwing me off. It's really interesting if I could somehow convey that scent to you through there just imagine that and it's you're getting like this sweet summer smoky smell Oh, I found the source that it's all fresh tar on that roof That would explain it. I see you watching me When we're with our friends It's definitely something in the air So let's take it from there Cause I know you want it a lot of places in Europe you have to pay for your water, but here in Finland they usually have water available really easy peasy for you to just grab and drink along with your pastry. Yeah. yeah we just got strawberry rhubarb. <gasps> Delicious. What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know what you know you want it. That is so good. <laughs>
because we found the best shop in this town. It is the candy shop. <laughs> Bumber? Bumber? Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's incredibly popular. But here, here in Finland, they eat a lot of black licorice, and I thought it's suitable to talk about it because I look like a black licorice today. <laughs> Some of them are salted and some of them are sweet. I think this is a sweeter one and I really like these ones. I really like soft ones. Mm. Really good? Yeah, they're so mm. good. I tried this one earlier, it's salty. I'm not oh. a fan. Okay, Brunberg, definitely a place to come and visit in Porto. Literally, there's so many people in here and we were watching people come out and everybody was coming out with big old bags of chocolate and licorice, or like all the different candies that are inside this store. I see you watching me when we with our friends It's definitely something in the air So let's take from there A huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible. If you want to follow more, go to Instagram at wayawaymag. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us. Oh, you